Namaste, y'all. Hello, everyone. It's me, your host, Long with Taco. I'm not your host. This is not Twitch. Damn it. Okay, hurry, take. Hello everyone, it is me, La Musako. I'm gonna say your host, La Musasho. I know I always say this, but yeah, um, whatever. I apologize, I usually am streaming, so yes, I apologize. I am a Twitch streamer, if you do not know, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash La Musasho. Shame! Go check it out if you want to. Yeah, great content, um, I hope you think so. If you don't, it's okay, you know, don't, don't come after me. I mean, I'm a potato. Trying to work hard out in these streets of the internet. Um, <laughs> so yes, um, I just wanted to sit down and make a video. I did this last year where I talked about how 2016 was. And as a wise man once said, Daniel Tosh is a wise man. 2016 said, hey, 2017, hold my bear. Something along those lines. Yeah. Um, that's exactly how this year has been. Um, 2016 ended on a very... Ooh. A very rough note. First of all, we had to say R.I.P. to Mariah Carey in a performance. It was a funeral she put on. Um, yeah, and then, you know, a lot of other things that were happening, um, yeah, a lot of things. I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to get into anything that is kind of like worldly. Whatever you may have you, whatever you want to call it. I'm not getting into worldly things. Um, yeah, it was rough for a large majority of the world. Yeah, and the year went by fairly fast, if I might say myself. Um, yeah, it went by pretty fast. I honestly remember it being like, Oh my god, 2016 is taking so long. 2017 is gone. And I mean, am I happy about that? Yes, because I'd rather not dwell in bad things. And at the same time, it was a good year for people like... It was a good year for someone like me. I mean, for me, it was a good year. I hit, um, what, 50 subs on YouTube, which I know is very small. I've been on YouTube for a full year and like three months, okay? But bear with me, you gotta understand. I legit made it to a new arc on Twitch. I got my sub button and you know, I actually have a few subs and I do appreciate you, every single one of you mean the world to me. You guys are so sweet. Um, yeah, it's really nice. So yeah, so you know, like a lot of things were happening within 2017, a lot of good for me and hopefully a lot of good for everyone else. I'm really just grateful just to be able to be on a platform and try and get to know more people and get to like have an open space for people to be themselves. And that's honestly what like my whole entire platform and what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing on the internet is basically letting people feel free to be themselves and let them be able to have an open space or basically someone who could feel for them. Like I legit lost my best friend Sora last year coming up to two years in February to suicide and she was trans and I made a video on that. You can go watch it if you want to, you don't have to. It was a rough time for me. It's still a rough thing. Legit losing a member from Shiny. Honestly, I cried at the end of my Twitch stream. Like, it hit me so hard. And like, I found out like a few hours after it happened and I didn't realize how much it would affect me until I actually like sat down and was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, He's completely gone. He made fantastic music. I loved his solo career. Like, Shiny is by far one of my favorite K-pop groups ever. Like, you know, he was my second favorite and everything. And it just, like, really hit me really hard. And I've been, like, really... I don't want to say depressed, but I have been depressed about it. Because, you know, it's like... It's something so powerful when, like, music or a musician... Like, some part of, like, a huge influence in your life is, like, gone. Like, for me, David Bowie... Oh my gosh. David Bowie's death still affects me to this very day. I don't care. Like, I could legit think about him for too long and I break down crying. I listen to his music, break down crying. Like, just seeing an image of him, you know. He was such a huge influence in my life and, like, I'm just so grateful. Like, <sighs> but yeah. So, like, you know, losing a member of one of my favorite K-pop groups 
is a huge thing and the fact that he was just so he was such a loving person and so hurt and everything is really sad and then you know like with everyone on the internet it's just like it's really sad and i know if you guys follow me on my twitter my twitter's just been flooded with like me basically saying like he did well he did enough he like he was good in his music like he didn't feel like he did enough and that's the reason why i feel like people need to understand that if you do say something rude to someone online even if it's a celebrity it still gets to them and like even when I listen to Reflection by Rap Monster, right, from BTS, like on the off the album Wings, it's still really sad because he legit says that he doesn't he wishes that he could love himself. And I see Rap Monster and I'm like, oh my god, you are like the most handsome and adorable like person I've ever seen in my life. Like if Rap Mon came up to me and was like I love you. I'd be like, I'd be like, Sarone, Sarone, opa. I love you. <laughs> like, I legit would fangirl so hard. You have no clue. Like, I would just tell him, I'm like, Sarane, Sarane. I'm joking. I wouldn't be like that. I would fangirl and I would like legit cry my eyes out. So, like, the thing is, like, when I heard Rat Monster say that in reflection, saying that he wishes that he could love himself and everything. It really hit me hard and if I ever listened to that song and actually really pay attention I legit break down crying because to me I see Rat Monster and I'm like oh my god he's perfect like nothing about him is an imperfection and then to hear him say how he personally feels it really hit me hard and I know a lot of people have been like listening to k-pop for like years since like 2008 when certain bands came out and stuff like that but to me groups, bands, whatever you want to call it. Um, but to me, like, I'm, like, hugely influenced by music. I listen to an Icelandic band called Sigros. I listen to a Russian band called Little Big. I listen to, like, all these different groups from all around the world. Like, some, one of my favorite artists are Doka, and she's, like, Japanese. Like, I have so many favorite artists. And the thing is, is that, like, it doesn't matter about the language that it's primarily based towards. It's just the fact that music is such a universal thing. So even just losing like a favorite artist or a favorite group member from a band that really influences you, it hits that much harder. And it's really sad, but at the same time, like, people say stuff happens for a reason. And honestly, like, I don't know. We just have to go through life and just keep trying to like, find happiness and everything. And the thing is, is that like, I have been into K-pop for about like and everything and a lot of people were like oh well you're learning Korean just for like the music aspect of it. It's not even that. I think Korean is a beautiful language. It is legit so beautiful to me. It's a harder language and you know it's more confusing because it's not like English in many ways but at the same time it's such a beautiful language and it's so unique in its own culture and that's the reason why I love it. I always love different cultures and different like aspects of the world so I feel like to me people who actually know me will just be like oh that's just a thing. I legit have tried to learn like over eight different languages basically. I've been really influenced by different cultures and that doesn't make me a weeaboo, koreaboo, whatever you might want to call it. Um, some people will be a koreaboo, weeaboo, but personally for me I'm not that. I'm not trying to say that I'm this percentage of Korean or I'm this percentage of like, I was about to say German, which I am quarter German, but I don't want people being like you're this percentage of like Japanese, like I'm not. I know I'm not these things. So I'm not trying to rework my like lineage and be like, oh yeah, at some point I was part whatchamacallit. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to live life and like better myself for what I feel is better. So yeah. So I know that was a bit of a rant. I do apologize. But you know, K-pop has really influenced me because I feel like Korean or Hangul is a really beautiful language. And I just find this to be really beautiful because there's a lot of love within there and everything and yeah it's so different so a lot of people will look down on me and be like why don't you learn something that's closer to your language which I understand I mean I didn't know Spanish up until about, like what I was in fifth grade Catholic school learning Spanish forgot it because I hated my teacher dumb reason I know my fault because it actually would have helped me out a lot I feel like 2017 for a lot of people has been a really rough year and I'm not just like being like oh well for you it was a bad year for me it was better than that. No, I'm not like saying that. Um, I feel like 2017 for me 
has been a really successful year and a really big peak and arc for me just within my twitch my youtube with just the way i've been personally like my personal health personal wellness like i feel like i've come so far and have such a great appreciation for so much in life and i'm really grateful for that because like if i was to look back at myself like four or five years ago I have nowhere near that and that makes me really happy. I still have some of the same struggles and problems I've had before in the past but it's not as bad but from about the age of 22, 21 to 22 it's pretty much when I started bettering myself and actually getting help for stuff that I was suffering with and it really did help me but I still struggle with that and then you know like the different struggles of just dealing with that and trying to better yourself is really hard because a lot of people don't want to understand where the origin of all the stuff comes from and I knew but actually getting the professional help really helped me and I know a lot of people look at stuff like this like depression or anything like that to be a, like a downer or like a negative but you have to at least acknowledge what the problem is and get help for what the root cause is and me doing that as an adult really helped me out like i honestly do not feel the way that i have felt since i was a kid till like 21 to 22. i have not felt severely that way for like a whole entire solid year i would say about um about a year and a half i haven't felt that way but me being coming 24 and 2017 i feel like has really benefited me in life because i feel like i have a better outlook and i'm actually accomplishing a lot more in life and that's because i've been like sh i've been persevering through all the personal struggles life struggles and basically surrounding myself with better people and getting to know more people and just becoming a better more understanding and open person and i know a lot of you who personally have followed me from just within my twitch years like you guys will understand that i have come a long way and also just with me knowing my friend sora sora is a huge part of my life and i was very understanding to her and very open to her and she was very open to me and the thing is, is that like, we're so, we weren't severely different, but we we're different in different ways. And I feel like me just having that open ear to her, like listening to how she personally felt really did help me. And you know, I know people could be very judgmental and I didn't want people to have the same experiences that I've had. And you know, I feel like that built up a lot of friendships and I felt that also like molded me into being a very open person and very accepting. And you know, the thing is, is that like, I might not be the person who knows everything in life. Like I'm not saying I know everything, but at the same time, me just having an open, like state of mind and like an open personality i think oh i think i think um <laughs> sorry i think made it a lot easier for me to make friends who are very diverse i like diversity like i personally love diversity so like even with me meeting sore i felt it gave me a whole lot more meaning and knowledge about different people and i have made other friends from then on to now who are completely different and I'm completely understanding like they could just tell me like oh yeah I'm this that blah 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 and x y and z and I'm like okay I'm like that's cool like I accept you like my friends will be accepting um for me personally I feel like 2017 has been a really good year for me yeah it's been a really good year to me and I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh yeah nothing bad has happened no of course bad has happened but I feel like me going into 2017 with a better mind state and better like well-being has helped me and maintaining that like not giving up on that and persevering through everything bad that was happening within my personal life even i feel like it really helped me so i just want to say that if anyone was having a bad year i do apologize i mean i know i hopefully didn't contribute to that but at the same time i hope everyone had a fairly good year i hope 2018 and onward is a better year for all of us not just for me myself i'm not selfish like that and i hope everyone accomplishes a lot more and i feel like everyone should definitely try and like be a more open book i mean like don't put all your business out there but I mean like be more open towards people because literally you meeting one person could change your life that much more. 
and I think just being nicer as a person will honestly help like I just want to say that I hope everyone honestly has a better year and better years to come I honestly hope that all of us could grow as people and become more open and understanding I'm sorry if this is very ranty I'm sorry if this is pretty much like just in one ear out the other I mean hopefully I have spoke to someone um, but yeah, if you guys want to become like friends with me, you know, like subscribe to me and follow me on Twitch and everything, don't have to disguise me on Twitch, but if you want to, you know, it's, it's really nice of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, like comment to my Twitch stream, comment down below, like let me know how your year was. Maybe I could give you some advice, I don't know, like damn maybe i don't know <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to say that my year was fairly productive i hit a lot of good milestones and i'm really really proud and i'm at a better state in life than i've ever been and i'm really grateful for that and i honestly hope that all of you have a fantastic year and months to come and everything you know like i hope 2018 is better to a lot of us i hope a lot of stuff gets worked out within the world <sighs> and yeah um, I just want to say that I'm sorry if my video editing went from like progress progressing like going up like to a point and then going down I'm learning a brand new editing software and yeah, it's pretty hard um, It's more confusing. It's more technical which I do prefer but I have to learn it So there's like a huge learn curve and I'm just like Boy, what am I doing? How do I do this basic thing? And I don't know how to and I'm just like struggling in life, but you know what practice comes perfect perfect practice makes perfect mm -hmm. you're right that's advice from la Musasha. i just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supportive to me on my youtube or twitch thank you so much go check out my twitch and everything all my links are in the description below and you know it's going to be appearing on the screen because like i'm so fancy maybe it's not hopefully it is um but yeah um thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all have a fantastic and new year's and hopefully 2018 will be better to all of us um yeah to all my shiny fans and all everyone who is also a fangirl shiny like me you know we lost a great soul and everything and shiny did not lose a member they gained an angel and it's really sad but at the same time you know like his music is still here for all of us to listen to and to love and to cry over as i have been doing day after day um, this is it my video. Thank you so much to everyone who is watching and subscribing to me. Thank you for all of you guys commenting. Thank you for the 1.1k on my video, the BTS slash, um, EXO haul. Thank you so much. Thank you for dealing with me rambling. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Salon hey, salon heyo. I love all of you. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye, everyone. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that squeak was adorable. And yeah, this has been advice from a potato. Am I a potato? Am I a kawaii neko potato? <laughs> God, can we? Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been support. Oh my God, my elbow is so itchy. Whew. Okay.